Hey guys, Ibn here and we have yet another update of Hassan Mustafa who is not quitting, who is not giving up as he says he is not stopping until he wins a pro show and right now he is about a week out of Puerto Rico pro where he's gonna face Akim freaking Williams and that guy is one of the biggest guys on bodybuilding stage and also he's sixth at the Mr. Olympia so it's gonna be a challenge for Hassan to beat Akim, whether Hassan is conditioned or not, because Akim is a, is a beast, and that's his nickname. And we have an update of Akim as well, I'm gonna show that to you in a second, but let's go with this video once again from the beginning, and let's see what is going on here. Okay, so this side tricep, the way Flex Wheeler taught him how to do, looks really good. I mean, the triceps, the, the, the rear head is massive, uh, the shoulders are pretty ripped, and also the tie in the glute, uh, hamstring tie in, and also the quad just looks shredded and full and, and just amazing. So this is a really good shot for him, one of the best shots of Hassan Mustafa. But the regular side tricep too is very, very good because the triceps are just amazing and also the shoulders. He has the same issue like Phil Heath, he has uh, narrow shoulders bone structure wise, so he worked extra hard on making his delts super round, and so he made his delts very 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 dominant, and also it looks like he never injected any oil in them, so they look super separated, very very dry, and also here you can see his massive legs that are looking absolutely sick, so side tricep, one of his best shots, and he does look leaner. Now take a look at his quads, <laughs> he is, he's known for the quads. They are absolutely massive, and now you can see some striations, some vascularity, which is not something we saw last time he was on stage, so he definitely does look more conditioned, probably he stopped training them. I don't know if any of you guys watching this compete, but if you do, you know that bodybuilders stop training their legs about a week, 10 days before the show, sometimes 2 weeks, and Hassan should have done that like a month ago, because he has so much leg mass, he could actually benefit from having his legs smaller, and, uh, for, and if you don't train them for a while, they look more shredded, more separated, you can see deeper separations, they look fresh, rested, and that's the case now. But this is the biggest issue, backside, now we're gonna see how lean did he actually get the hamstrings take a look at the hamstrings true you can't see the glutes so you don't know exactly what's going on you can see the lower back and it does look very lean right the traps to the shoulders arms it just looks very dry from behind and the hamstrings i think are showing a little bit more separation than the last time and they look a little bit more vascular drier harder so yes yes i'm pretty sure he definitely made improvements in fa as far as conditioning so i don't see the glutes but they also look pretty hard i don't know we'll see that on stage i think he's hiding them for a purpose because they're probably not good enough, but there is still a week for him to dry out completely, fill up, and he's probably gonna look more shredded on the stage, but right now it does look pretty good. His back though is not really a problem, I mean it's not very wide, but he has a lot of muscle on it, and it does get pretty dry, you can see the separation in the lats right here, and the back is really, really thick, because he probably worked extra hard on it, because it doesn't have width, so he worked on adding density, again, quads, absolutely insane, and they, they, look, they definitely look more separated, and also, overall, he, he definitely lost some fat and water and whatever, and he does look shredded, he does look much leaner, is it gonna be enough to be Kim Williams? I don't know, I don't think so, but he does look improved. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. This right here is a Kim Williams, 9 days out of Puerto Rico Pro, and he does look really freaking massive. I mean, the size of this guy, the amount of dense, thick muscle is just insane. He looks super big, super wide and everything, but as far as conditioning, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't look super, super shredded. He does look bigger than like previous years when he was not really bringing the conditioning, but I think he was sharper last year at the Mr. Olympia and Chicago Pro. I don't know, this is just a photo in the gym, so you can't really be sure. I don't know what you guys think, I mean, based on what I'm seeing right here, this is a good look for like 3 to 4 weeks out. I mean, I might be wrong, yeah, the glutes are showing some separation, uh, the quads do look pretty, I mean, the skin on the quads looks pretty thin, but then again, arms and chest and uh, the legs on the left photo i don't just i just don't see that super grainy kind of look it looks like hassan might be even in better conditioning i might be wrong i don't know it's different lighting and everything but based on what i'm seeing right here akim does look really massive he looks like as big as big Remy or whatever 
but I just don't really see that super grainy look that he, he that he actually was able to bring last year at a Chicago Pro and Mr. Olympia. So it seems like uh, he, I don't know, it seems like he's not really bringing it this year. I might be wrong, I'm, I hope I'm wrong, because I want to see Akim uh, jump a few places to Mr. Olympia this year, but if he doesn't win Puerto Rico Pro, I mean, there are still chances for him to qualify, and he's probably gonna win, I mean, I don't think Hassan is gonna be super conditioned, because before we saw some crazy shots of Hassan, and not really, uh, we haven't really seen him on stage being super shredded, Hassan is not really a top threat to Akim Williams, I mean, he's the biggest threat, but I don't think he's really that good to beat a top 6 Olympian. So even if Hakim is a little bit off, I think he can still beat him and then sharpen up, tighten up for the Mr. Olympia and actually, you know, crack the top 5. Could it be? Sure, I think so. I think that can happen. But as for now, for 9 days out of a show, I just don't really see that gnarly grainy condition that he knows how to bring. Might be wrong, might be just the lighting, maybe he's just a little bit bloat, maybe he had a cheat meal the day before, maybe he's gonna deplete now and dehydrate and look much better, I'm not sure, but based on what I'm seeing right here, not super appealed. Look at the delts, guys, and the arms, it just looks a little bit blurry, like there is a film of whatever, water, or probably water, I don't wanna say fat. So whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Okay, next we have Nick Walker, Sean Clarida and Brett Wilkin guest posing. And these guys are all really massive. Brett is uh, doing, I think, Chicago Pro, so he's really shredded. And these two guys, uh, Sean and Nick, are doing Mr. Olympia, so they are not really that close. They're like 16 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And uh, Nick Walker is really freaking massive, man. I mean, lo look at this guy. Uh, look at him here. Jeez, like, he is really freaking huge. He is really huge. I didn't really expect him to be this big standing next to Brett, for example. But he absolutely dwarfed everybody. So, Nick is legit big, he is a big guy, a big bodybuilder. And surprisingly, even though it's a guest posing, he still brought that crazy separation that he is known for. I'm sure he did some manipulation with water, so that would look much better. Uh, Sean Clarida actually looks surprisingly big, I thought he was much smaller, because he's very short. Nick Walker is also not very, not very tall, he's also pretty short, but uh, Sean looks also pretty massive, for a guy of his height, of course. So right here, right here, I mean, Nick is definitely an open bodybuilder who can beat pretty much anybody if he brings good level of conditioning, like, he is that big, that good, and Sean Clarita is not exactly getting dwarfed by him, I mean, he is standing his own, even though he's much shorter. But again, I'm really impressed with Nick's size, and I'm sure people who were watching this guest posing were blown away. I'm sure they haven't really seen a guy of this size on a bodybuilding stage. In a long time, in a long time, I mean, look at this, look at it, this guy is just an absolute beast, and I believe he will do some damage at the Mr. Olympia, it's not gonna be a surprise for many people, a lot of people actually have him cracking the top 6 even, I don't know what he's gonna do at the Mr. Olympia, we still, we still have to see him compared to the rest of the guys, but he does look really impressive right now in the offseason, not even to say how he looked at the New York Pro, but seeing this kind of separation in the offseason, I mean, in a guest posing, it, it, it tells me that he will bring great level of conditioning at the Mr. Olympia stage, just like he did at the New York Pro. Hey guys, don't forget about James Hollingshead, who is also 16 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. He didn't compete this year, because he qualified last year for Mr. Olympia 2021, and it looks like he made some gains. And this guy is really devoted, and also he's a genetic freak. Super, super strong in the gym, and also he likes to lift very heavy, and he's very devoted, and he has a good coach now, Patrick Tour, and him seems like uh, have clicked really, really well. So these are the gains that James is showing us, or actually Patrick is showing them to us, and it looks like he added a lot of tissue, added a lot of new tissue, and it's gonna be just more impressive and bigger looking as the show approaches. So we'll see what he's gonna look at the Mr. Olympia, it's gonna be really interesting to see him on that stage for the first time ever, to see how he will fare against some of the guys like uh, Ian Valier, Nick Walker, and the others, who are also like second tier bodybuilders, let's say, after the top 5, top 6, James can actually beat anybody of those guys. It can happen, I mean, that's pretty realistic. You know, guys like Hunter Labrada, even Akeem Williams, so I think best case scenario for James, for his first Mr. Olympia, is gonna be like top 6, that's like best, best case scenario, but I don't really see him falling out of top 10. This mess, and also bringing the conditioning, yeah, it's gonna be hard to get this guy out of top 10. What do you think?
Can he, for example, take William Bonek out too, who was fifth last year? I don't know. He's doing Garnold Classic and he's preparing slowly. And he looks like he have gained. He, he, I mean, he definitely have gained a lot since uh, his last off season because he definitely went off for a while. He probably didn't train very hard. Now he's training. Yeah, the form right here is definitely very questionable. If I was form police, I would arrest him for sure. But he knows what he's doing. He knows what works for him. So it's great. He's making gains. Whatever you guys think about William Bonek and whoever from this video I mentioned, tell me down below in the comment section, like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.